This is a Mountfield 1430M that needs a new drive belt. Uh, it's not the funnest job on the planet. Um, it's not the most difficult, it's just fiddly. I think most of the Mountfields are similar. Um, there isn't much information online about doing it, so I thought I would just make a quick video to explain the easiest way to do it. So the, the first thing you need to do is, if you've got still got the side pods on that protect the stop your feet going under the uh, the deck, then you need to take those off. Um, I've removed those just because they're a little bit annoying. And then you need to take the drive belt off. And the easiest way to do that is it's spring-loaded, so just pull it back and get under there, and you can just twist, twist the bottom pulley around and the drive belt will be free. Then you need to get round to the back and you need to remove that, which is simply these two, these two clips here. Um, and then that will give you this view, which is the pulley on the gearbox. Um, in there you've got this guy, and he's connected to the edge on each side, there and there, and the belt goes under that. So you need to undo that, it also makes it a bit easier if you can move that around when you're doing the belt. Then you've got these two retainers on the side here to stop the belt coming off this pulley. You just need to undo those so that there's some movement and play in them. Can't quite see, but the, there's enough play to move them up and down. Um, that's relatively easy. So then, next, you need to, under the deck, you have this, which is the, controls the height of the deck. You need to, Remember where the bottom bolt is, undo this, drop the deck down, and then push the deck back up to just remove that. Um, because as you can see, the drive belt goes on the inside of that. And this, let me just get around to the other side. And this has to, this has to sit on the inside of the dr drive belt. So that has to come out. Then next, you'll see you've got one of these pulleys either side that the belt runs behind. There's no way to remove, well the old belt might, you can just cut out, but to get the new belt in, you need to undo those. They're both 13 mil, um, pretty straightforward. Socket on the top or bottom, spanner, just remove them, put them to one side. Then the next pulley, you've got this pulley here. Um, belt just needs to go around the back of that. There's no, there's no guard on it, so you don't need to do anything with him. Then, in order to release the belt from the main engine pulley, you need to remove this spring, and there's two, there's two connect, electrical connectors for the clutch on the other side you need to remove. Um, and then you need to drop the whole assembly out. You can see on the bottom, there's a 16 mil, mil bolt. It undoes anti-clockwise like any other other bolt um, I used an impact driver on it if you don't have an impact driver you will need to get a big adjustable and put it on that um, that kind of wash concentric washer above it to get otherwise you'll just be turning the engine when you try to undo it finally don't know if you can see that that is the that's the mechanism that disengages the drive, it's just a slip, just allows slack in the belt for it to slip. As you can see, it's got a guard on it. That's another 13 mil bolt. You'll need to undo that to get the new bolt in. Um, and then it's just a, a very simple reversal of all that. Putting the belt back on the, the deck belt is very simple. You just put it on how you took it off. You just get it halfway around the pulley and just twist the pulley by hand and that will pull the belt on. Um, and the back is if you leave the final bit of the belt off the back to put it on the back all you need to do it's a little bit fiddly is get your foot on the clutch mechanism to introduce some slack into the belt and you'll be able to quickly put the belt on there like that um, and that's it so takes about it takes about an hour if you're taking it easy um, the only tools you need are 13 mil socket and spanner 10 mil socket and spanner and a 16 mil socket and potentially an adjustable if you don't have an impact 
drive um, and probably a safer way of supporting the mower than I've used there. Uh, that's it. Fiddly, um, quite a lot of components to remove, but not difficult.